Okay, Mike Masato, CEO of Staff Driven Dental and the Dental Road Warrior, returning for episode 73 in the series. All right, so it's time for a Dental Road Warrior reality check. You know, there's an interesting phenomenon um, that I have the uh, pleasure of experiencing from time to time on the road when I get to visit practices all the time. And a lot of times I go into practices and just there for uh, lunch and learns or just introductory presentations and you learn a lot from the short period of time uh, that I'm in a practice. You know, just like docs, if you're watching this and um, you know, you've know you been doing dentistry for a long period of time, uh, when a patient's in your chair and they open their mouth and you look at their mouth, you can go, you know, I know what that is in a second, just by the smell of it, because you've seen it thousands and thousands of times. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time diagnosing it through x-rays and probing, you will, but you just know because you've seen it so many times, you've experienced it, you can recognize it right away, and you know what the solution is going to be. Well, a lot of that's the same with me, having done this for as long as I've done this, in 30 years of consulting that I've done, the last 23 or so uh, in dentistry, you, you can pick up things about teams and practices a lot when you walk into a practice. You know, and, and it, what's never you know ceases to amaze me is when I go into these these forums to sit down with teams, you know, over a lunch to talk about the practice, and it's always an interesting dynamic when the doctors are not present, because getting teams to talk and open up and share with you about what's going on with the practice, because you know every practice has blind spots. You, know, you never see yourself as other people see you. You know, and, and it's true for staff as well too. They don't see themselves like like I could see them coming in and observing them. However, they have invaluable information and insights into the practice docs that you may be missing. You know, and one of the things that's always not you know that I hear from staff is that we don't communicate well, or there's not an open situation or open forum for communication in this practice for us to share ideas and share our concerns and whatever. And that's a huge detriment. Uh, to you docs by, by cutting off that communication not creating an environment where you can openly hear from team to contribute to you of what you may not be seeing and what you may, may be missing. You know, there are so many excuses that I get all the time that drive me crazy. Uh, I call them success excuses. There ex there's excuses I get from doctors uh, through who I meet uh, why they shouldn't be successful. They don't think that's what they're saying, but in my mind when I hear, you know, for instance, if you hear a patient saying to you, who really is sitting in front of you that needs the dental work that you're re you're presenting. They really need it. Like if they have disease of the mouth, it needs to be treated, it shouldn't go on any longer, and they're telling you that they gotta think about it. You know, or, you know, let me talk to, uh, let me get a second opinion, or let me see what my insurance does. We get all these crazy excuses all the time, and you wanna just shake these people. Like, come on, what are you talking about? Because you know, it would be based on your expertise how badly they need this and how important it is to get it done and they're going to make some excuse of why they should remain sick or why they should remain diseased or not have optimal health you know and, and they're, it doesn't make any sense right you shake your head well it's the same thing for me the frustration i always encounter is when i get these success excuses you know and, and I, one of the things i get a lot is like you know uh, uh, you know uh, i'll call you when i'm ready i have your card that's one of my favorite ones i'll call you when i'm ready and I'll have your card. The reason why I bring this up, tying it back to what I was just talking about, just being in a practice. When the staff gets it, you know, if I if I had to sell this program or what I do to staff, I'd be a I'd be a multi 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 millionaire because 99.9% .9 of the time the staff gets what I'm talking about because they live it every single day. They recognize what the practice needs. They desperately want leadership from the doctor from the top. They want awareness at the top. They want to see change happen. They want positive things to occur because they, for the most part, have the best interest of the practice at heart. You know, they, they really got your back stock, you know, and the, and what we do is we sabotage ourselves by making these excuses of why we shouldn't be successful, you know, and why would you ever say to somebody, unless the person's not legit, I can understand if I'm sitting in front of a doctor, sitting in front of someone and doc says to me, hey, you know what, I don't believe in what you do, I don't think you're the best for me, I've researched you, you're not a good company, you know, whatever. You know, that, 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 that you wanna make that argument, you can do that all day long. But telling me that, you know, yeah, everything you say sounds great, you know, I probably do need this. You know, it probably is important, but you know what? You know, I'm not ready right now. I'll call you when I'm ready. That's, you're never just going to be ready. For, you, know, you should always be ready for a success. Why would you be any more ready for success or improvement or, or more positive change down the road? What epiphany is going to happen when this will occur? It's now is the best time for success. Now is the best time for positive change because at what cost have it, to have it not be now? You know, later only costs you more money. It costs you loss of staff 
You know, I just came from a practice where I did a, a, a lunch and learn with the whole team, and I can tell you there was 10 people there, and every one of them was ready to walk out from the doctors, because why? Because it is very thing, very successful practice in many ways, okay? But what's missing is the, the awareness of what's going on with the team. They're overloaded, they're stressed out, they're overworked, they're understaffed, they're not trained, which is making it be even more challenging. You know, they new staff don't stay, Associate doctors don't stay when they bring them in. How and, they, and all they want to do is grow, grow, grow. Well, if you want to grow, 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 okay, you better get some guidance and support in there to help you say like, let's define our goals. They don't the practice. The staff doesn't know what the vision is. They don't know the goals. What's the plan? They don't know any of these things. All they know is they're supposed to show up every day, put their heads down, and work. You know, and bust it every day on behalf of the practice. But but where is where is it going from there? That's the thing you have to look at. Where where are we taking this thing? And it starts at the top. And, and, and the best thing a doctor could do is invest in your team because every dollar flows to them. You've heard me say this before. They make or break you every single day. And if they're on the brink and you're not even aware of that, that's a major liability in the practice. Major. You know? And this is what I saw today. And so ha having my card, I can, I can tell you, I've given out thousands of my business cards and not once you know, did a doctor say to me, you know, good thing I had your card. You know, good thing I kept your business card you know, when I was ready for a success and I gave you a phone call. I mean, and it sounds ludicrous me saying it now, and you might be shaking your head, but you know what? Happens every single day. Happens every single day when I get this excuse about that kind of stuff. The card itself is not going to make you, keeping that card is not going to make you successful or make things going to get any better. You know what's going to make, make things get better? You confronting and changing in your practice you know, and, and looking at yourself because this is the hardest thing. You know, this practice I came from, doctors don't want to look at themselves. You know, they, 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 and, and unfortunately, the staff has gotten cynical. One of the worst things that could happen is when a staff starts getting cynical about working in your practice. You know, their their the morale is down. They're not motivated anymore. They're just doing it as a job. You know, and when you have employees, just employees, not team members that are motivated and enthusiastic and morale is high, and they're just doing it as a job, you're going to be dead in the water. You know, and you're going to lose people. That's what's going to happen. All right. So this is the thing. You know, you really have to realize that this is where it starts and be aware of this kind of stuff and stop making excuses for not having success now or change now. Yeah. Listen to your team. Go, hey, you know, I just watched this video from this guy ranting and raving on, on uh, YouTube or Facebook or whatever. You know, am I missing something? You know, go to your manager. Go to your team and ask them. Create a, create an, you know, this office I met with. Don't do staff. Barely ever do staff meetings. Barely ever do any morning huddles. They don't work on the practice. You, know, you these are the things that end up being your to your long term detriment, and then we're we're just more and more and more trying to pour pile more patients on the system, put more more on top. Sometimes less is more, you know, you know, and that doesn't mean cutting salaries, cutting back staff, and whatever else. You have to look at this strategically and everything. But sometimes it's not about a volume game; it's about a quality game, quality of life game, quality of life for your team. You know, and investing in your personnel, the most valuable resource you get. How many times have you heard me talk about ROI and, and the return on investment your, your team can bring you? Every dollar flows through them, docs, okay? So the reason why I went on this rant today and the subject of this video is stop making up ridiculous excuses for success. Get on the train, find someone. If it's not me, find someone else who's gonna help you get you where you need to be, right? Because it, you can't operate your life in practice in a vacuum. You know what I mean? That you're just isolated, you know, that's old school thinking. You know, that, that was the old days when it was all about the doctor and, you know, that was it. You know, right now, the most successful practices that I have are staff-driven practices, staff-driven teams, right? There's, there's multiples of them and one or two of you. You know, they can get you on the train, you're along for the ride. It's a wonderful thing when you're in an environment like that. You know, when the staff's just driving and things are just, everything's happening the way you want it, and you're just along for the ride, right? And you don't have to feel you have to be involved in every little thing throughout the course of a day. That's admitting that we don't have the practice running the way we want it to work, uh, want it to be. So if you're paying for these people, you know, like you are, and investing in them, them that you are, then, you know, put, put money and time into them. Give them proper attention. That's what they want. You, and, you, and this is, like I said, hear them out. And don't make excuses for success. Today, today is a day for success. Again, don't wait. A business card is not going to give you, hey, wake up one day and give you some, hey, start talking to you and say, look, time to make this phone call. Or yeah, now everything's lined up just the way I, I need to be successful. Look, if you could have done it already, you would have done it already. Right? It's not, sometimes it's okay to get help. It's okay to get all the best teams have coaches and have trainers. Every professional team is like that. If you want a professional team, get coaching, get training, get guidance. Okay? Put the ego aside. 
be open to someone coming into your life and showing you the way. All right? So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please share them as always, and I'll be back with another episode soon.